Hi, I'm Jerry Carvassi. I'm here at the Photoshop World in uh, Las Vegas. And I'd like to demonstrate uh, kind of a back to the future approach that we're working t today with within Lightroom 2.0. The local correction tool is kind of the, the fantastic new feature that's been integrated into the new program. And so basically, if I start to work through some images associated with um, my photography, not all of them have to be thrown out in the editing process with the local correction feature integrated into the program now. This image here is of a, some, of, of a statue in, um, in Australia at, at the family vineyard. And basically the um, information, I can't get all of the information associated with the capture because the sky is very bright and the subject is very dark. And so to integrate both of these together, I'm going to use the uh, local correction brush and if you want to have a quick way to get there, just hit the K key on the keyboard. And that, that allows you to immediately run to uh, the develop module as well as moving you to the, uh, the brush itself. The brush has two circles in it. And we can control the brush size with the control sliders within the interface or use the keyboard adjustments for using the left and right bracket keys to increase or decrease the size. If we want to increase or decrease the feathering of the brush, we just modify that with the shift left bracket and right bracket keys to work with that. So pick an efficient brush size to work with. You'll notice that you have a little plus sign once you put the cursor in the screen area. If we start to bring down the adjustment for the sky, in this case here, I'm going to pull the uh, exposure slider down and then to start to paint within the image area just like this. And you can be sloppy in this case, or you can use the feature. I'll just hit the reset here. You could use the feature of auto masking, which is a very sophisticated masking feature that's built into uh, Lightroom 2.0. What that does is that identifies the edge of the image uh, information or the transition edges within the image so that you can paint directly within the image without affecting those areas or spilling over into areas of the image that you don't really want the brush to touch. So in this case here, I'm going to lightly paint with the brush. And notice that it's staying off the edges associated with the transition of the two features within the image. So I have a tendency to overcorrect with the um, adjustment and then dial it down, which is a really dynamic feature in this uh, Lightroom 2.0. So as I just bring up slightly the background to make it a little bit darker, I've got a bit more control associated with how this image will appear. Now, the next step is to then reduce the, the statue to a little lighter feature. And in this case here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the new mask feature. That gives me a new brush in this case. And then I'm going to use a positive adjustment slider here and work with increasing or in, in fact dodging the shadow information in this case here. So as I move into the image area and I start to paint, I've got a little, little bit of color added to this brush as well. So as I paint, I'm increasing the exposure as well as adding just a little spot of blue to the statue. Again, we can dial down the feature uh, or pull the color out that's been added just by clicking on the color patch here and running over to white and saying OK. Notice that reduce that color cast within the, uh, the statue. And we're able to season the exposure again to taste so that I can make the statue brighter and bring down the clouds in this case. If I wanted to add just a little bit of information to the foreground as well, we can just use the brush and we'll have to create a new one. Okay, Each time we create a new brush, we get a new control point within the image. And we're able to then take a swipe at the image and then adjust that area based on the control slider within the local corrections interface. So you can dial it down or dial it up based on your needs and how you perceive or envision this image to, to be. So there you have it, the local correction return to the future project associated with Lightroom 2.0 local correction tools.